Hey everybody in here, just sitting here in the tiny house, got my iced coffee, it's over there. Today, I don't know what I'm going to get done, it was torrential downpour yesterday and I got lots and lots of water and I planted some things and guess what, they are already sprouting over the last few days that I've been not feeling well. They sprouted, it's almost like God has said, you know what, I'm going to cut you a break, I'm going to give you some, some plants <laughs> that are growing in your containers, so I'm going to show you them. And, uh, I don't know what else. We'll just have to see what happens. Cutest dog in the world. That's right. That's who you are. You're the cutest one. But first, I want to show you some cool stuff my parents got me for my birthday. The first outfit is a pair of camouflage capris and a matching shirt. The shirt is very lightweight. And that hat that I've got on is my dad's camouflage hat I kind of absconded with when he came to visit. You can pull these up and you can make them be shorts or just wearing as capris. I think the boots go really well with it. I think I look stunning, don't you? Next, I'm modeling my dad's old hunting overalls, also camouflage. He sent me those and now I get to wear them as I go about my day working on the homestead. I absolutely love them. Thank you so much, Mom and Dad, for my beautiful birthday presents. I love them all. Now I want to show you some stuff that's growing after the big rain. All right, remember these two buckets right here? I planted something in them. Four, four or five days later, they started sprouting. This is turnips. And, of course, I'm going to have to, like, totally thin those out to one each bunch. I probably got too many in there. But look at My little turnips are growing. And check this out. Beets. I planted the same amount of beets. And the beets come in these little nugget-type seeds. And they, there's a whole bunch of, like, seeds in one. So once they get a couple, two, three inches, I'll go ahead and weed those out. We got one here. We got one there. We got one there. Um, yeah, and I think that's all. There's my little tomato plant that thinks it can. <laughs> and I planted some more turnips in here, too, just yesterday, so I don't think there's anything spreading. And remember when I said I didn't think that I was going to get any more fruits off of this plant? Well, looky here. We've got one here. We've got one here. I'm going to be very gentle. Hopefully one will be coming here. Another one is coming right in there. I hope you can see it. The sun is beating down on my phone. There's another bloom right there. And there is a bug. I'm going to kill it. This is the green bell pepper plant. And I thought this was toast too, but it's not. We're getting more fruits in. We're getting some more. They're going to come. So, all in all, I'm pretty happy. Yeah, yeah, I, my garden's getting a second wind. All right, let's go over to the other side of the house. Yes, I blocked this area off because Judy would be in here digging around. So the same day that I planted those buckets, I planted, well, actually it was the day after, some more beans. And also in between, I planted beets and turnips. Uh, beans, turnips, beans. I don't know what's in there. Um, more beans and these are, no. Those are beets. Those are beets. These may be beets too. And some more turnips here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to thin things out big time. I don't even know if they're going to grow in here. Just for good measure, I yesterday I threw a few seeds, uh, two turnip, two beets in here. And then over here, see, that's what I'm talking about, guys, when I go, look, look at this. All right, more beans in the back. There is a full, full row of beets, half row of beets, half of turnips, and half a row, uh, full row of turnips, and it looks like we already have one turnip coming in. Oh, we got some more. There's some little sproutlings coming up. So I had the extra seeds, bean seeds, so I figured I'm going to plant them. They didn't do well. These are still the bush bean. But I figured I'd just go ahead and use the seeds, and they came up. And I'm going to have to just tend this garden much, much more closely, because remember we had the ants in here. Ha! Ah, this is exciting. Remember I told you that it rained? Look at all of these buckets are filled. Every single last one of them, and Judy's little play pool is filled too. There's buckets on the other side. They're all full. 
And look at this, you guys. I don't know if you can see it, but this bucket is full. This one is full. It was emptying into there. And I filled up all of these. I got out in the middle of the rain and filled them up. I figured, why not? And I pulled this one over here just to see what it would do and check it out. It is complete. Ooh, chicken food, chicken food. It's completely full. Also, I don't know if you can notice, but Mr. Lucas came over day before yesterday and mowed my lawn. There's the beautiful Miss Judy. <laughs> she's been, she's been being crazy. Oh, look it, look it. You know those ants that were in that other, that uh, garden box? They've come and reestablished their colony here. You know what, I don't care. Um, I gotta put the chickens, I gotta put the chickens on those. Speaking of chickens, let's go see what the chickens are doing. Let's see. They've made a mess, that's okay. I got so much. Look at, look at the baby chickens. Hi chickens! Oops, I left, and they've got a little food cup in there. Every morning I make them a little breakfast. Hi girls! Hello! I cannot tell them apart anymore. They're, I think, the one farthest away from us. I think that's Sunshine. There's two bigger ones and two smaller ones. But I can literally not tell them apart anymore. So I don't know which one's Patsy. I don't know which one. The only way I can tell or think that it's Patsy, Patsy likes to go and kind of be by herself. You know what I mean? She kind of gets off by herself every once in a while. But they're doing great. This is working out better, actually. Putting the water up higher and that one down there. It doesn't spill as much. Oh, just look at them. Well, this, I was hoping to get this all fixed by tomorrow. I was supposed to have some garden fencing stuff that I was going to put up here. It's basically the same as this, but it's plastic. And I was going to put some all the way across here. I still can't get that door open, but that's okay. Um, so, I was kind of disappointed about that because I had planned on taking this off and enclosing the ramp that I'm going to put, whoops, sorry, I'm moving too fast, from here to their little chicken run. So I can't do that yet because I can't take this off, but that's all right. I'll wait till Tuesday. It's supposed to be delivered Tuesday. Look at my beautiful chickens. Hello, young ladies. Hello. You are just so gorgeous. They're getting so big. They're eating so well. They eat everything. They eat their chicken feed. They eat bugs. I've been getting squash bugs for them. And I've had, oh, don't pick on the curtains. They'll eat curtains. They eat everything. And so far, this deep litter method uh, is working. There is no odor. It just smells like, uh, smells like earthy woods, you know. And um, so things are going pretty good. The only thing is, is somehow they're getting up here and roosting at night because they leave a bunch of poop. <laughs> Why don't they roost over on their roost? Anyhow, these chickens have brought me so much joy. You guys just have no idea. And they're very, very healthy. I think what I'm going to do, though, diatomaceous earth is good for treating mites and parasites and stuff like that. But they don't want you to put diatomaceous earth throughout the, uh, the litter. So I think what I'm going to do is put some diatomaceous earth in their little box over there. And they'll kick some of it out. But Because the, the diatomaceous earth will kill good things that we want to work and compost this litter down. And I think I'm going to dust them with some diatomaceous earth too, just to make sure, because I don't, I haven't seen anything on them. Um, they don't look irritated or anything. They just look like they're happy chickens. They're doing really good. I love them. I had kind of thought that this uh, giant red Cubanel pepper plant was done, but it's not. Look it, it's got more blooms. It's got a couple fruits on it, one bigger one, one little one, so I'm not giving up on this one yet either. And the watermelon plant is still growing. I've taken the vines up when Mr. Lucas was mowing, so he could just mow right through this. Look at these. Look. Look. Sounds hollow. And then there's another smaller one right next to it. So somebody said something about a tendril turning brown. That's this. But I've heard the actual stem has to turn brown and that the underside needs to look paler. So we're going to leave that one there. I've got another one here, this little tiny baby one. And I've got an even bigger one here. That one sounds pretty hollow. Let's see what it looks like underneath. Uh, nothing new. Oh, there's another little one right there. Let's not smoosh that. So, yeah, that's still... 
that is still green, so I don't think that's ready to go yet. And there's a few more smaller ones on it, but I don't know if I'll get more than maybe a couple watermelons. These cucumbers that I've just totally left to their own devices are totally making huge cucumbers. There's one right there, there's one right there, there's a big one kind of like over there. I don't know if you can see it. I'm not going to walk over there. But I'm getting plenty of cucumbers from these things. Squash plants. I went ahead and harvested the one spaghetti squash. I'll show it to you in a little bit. These are totally overran with squash bugs. I have been gathering them up and feeding them to the chickens. They love them. Uh, so I don't think I'm going to be getting any more spaghetti squash. Look at that. Look at that squash bug. I'm going to come back later and get you for the chickens. Uh, I pulled out all the beans. They were doing nothing. Tomatoes are still okay. I'm still getting tomatoes off of them. And they seem to be looking all right. Anyhow, yeah, that's this garden bed. Now, this is going to be completely done away with. I'm going to tell you why. I'm not even going to use the soil for anything else because I heard that the squash bugs overwinter in the soil and they'll come out the next year. So I am not going to use this soil. I'm just going to disassemble the garden beds, smooth the soil out, and just use this, you know, as it's just a big lawn. So, I don't know, I'm pretty happy. Oh, here, I did come over on this side after all. Look at that funny looking one. Look at how funny that looks. Oh, there's another one there. I'm gonna have to gather some pretty soon here. One thing I can tell you guys right now is that the mosquitoes have been really, really bad, very bad. So what I need to do today, I'm not gonna show you because it's boring. I'm going to go gather up all that water, either dump it out, put lids on the things that can have lids, and uh, just make sure that mosquitoes can't get in there and create more mosquitoes because I can't even stand hardly being outside right now just because of how badly I'm getting bitten. <sighs> Anyhow, well, that's my, that's my little update for my fledgling homestead. So thank you for all the happy birthday wishes and the well wishes when I was like barfing and you know what else, you know, the whole GI thing. I really appreciate it, and huh, it's gonna be a hot one today. It is, it's not even very sunny. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.